Well, I would like to say hello everybody. Hello from the Philippines and today is a little cloudy with rain. But today I'm on the family's farm. It's a very nice place to be. And it's uh, looking at all the changes going on here on the farm. I see my brother, my brother-in-law is building a house back here. This big project here is he want to build a place for all his brothers and sisters. It's a retirement home. Even there's a room for us there. It's nice of him to do, but we're like, you don't have to. But on the farm, there's lots of fruits and vegetables and animals. So whatever the family needs, you can just come here. Like it's pretty nice. They prepare a lot of food every day. So for example, if I was hungry, I could come here anytime, you know, breakfast, lunch, or dinner and eat because you're part of the family. And it's a lot to eat. There's a guy back here. He's uh, just cleaned up some chickens. And like folks may not be used to in the States, but you know, and catch them, pluck the feathers off, clean them. Can't get no fresher than that. So if some of you are squirmish, I'll show you. You just have to get over it because that's just the way you that's that's the way it is here. If you wanna if you wanna eat some pork, they'll go kill a hog. I haven't walked around the farm yet. Um because it's raining, I wanted to do a little drone. It's not raining hard, you can't even see it. It's just a light drizzle coming down, which is very refreshing because it's still about 80 degrees today, so it's not bad. And uh, here, let me just flip the camera to show y'all a little look around the place. So this is a look at the family farm. So my brother-in-law is building a big house. I haven't been here in a while, so every year I come back as so many things have changed. So he's building a nice big place over here. And there's a lot of mango trees. He also runs like a gravel business. That's why you see these big open spaces, pits, where they dig rock and sand out from the river, pile it here. He's even got a truck where they sell it. Thank goodness it's my brother-in-law because we owe him a lot because he provided for our house a lot of the gravel and sand. All we had to pay was the gas for the truck. But look at that big house he's building. Wow, that is nice. With a balcony upstairs. And as you know, this is high up. That's due to flood. And you can see everybody here, you have all the cages. It's, it's for the roosters. Cause in the Philippines, cockfighting is a sport. And I know you can make a lot of jokes on what type of cockfighting. <laughs> but uh, and this is even in a, a place he built for that but it's being used as other things right now and it dubs as a place to have a lot of family parties you know but like all things he's busy with his full-time job you may say running all this is a full-time job but he does have a full-time job working for the government here so so he has two full-time jobs but workers to help him. And we got, see we have chickens and ducks. It's a big turkey back there. Like for example, if I say I wanted a, a chicken, fresh, I can come here anytime and get it. Why? I'm part of the family. <clears throat> so, that's a big turkey. 
and I've done videos here before so if you see the little houses here looks like he didn't sold all his roosters because he he would just breed them and sell them and for a lot of money so I guess he may be taking a break because it's all empty years ago I walked through here this was full and up some beautiful roosters <laughs> and it used to be a lot more fruit trees here Oh, wow, there's a nice, interesting bird. See, how, see if we can zoom in on it. If I can even get it in the video. And the video keeps jumping back. So there he is. And gone. So, zoom back out. Messing up the video. So I see there are some sheep, looks like, <clears throat> back here. <clears throat> the farm here goes all the way, it goes all the way back to the river back there. So I'm gonna go as far as I can. Yep, there are some sheep up here. Used to be some pigs. <clears throat> There's a look back at the back side of the, I guess you can call it the retirement home. So let's see if I can find my way through here. Something I always do every time I come here go walk and look around on the farm look at all the chickens my path is cut short but like all things there's just an old fence here so if I can lift up my old legs get over this fence which I did the pigs pig pens used to be up there but I think last storm destroyed a lot of things here so look at all the chicken it's a lot of chicken wings and you can uh, probably understand with having the river back here when that bad boy overflows it just destroys all of this whoo a lot of trash this place over here this lot used to be full of what's called Kaliman Sea trees and back here used to be a lot of goats but I see it's a lot of trees and growing up. It used to be all empty. And there were goats back here. And you come in here, they just come all over you thinking you got some food for them. Wouldn't be attacking you, but you'd be just overran with goats all around you. It's fun. Nice place for kids. I went fishing in the river back here, but there was a trail you could cut through somewhere a long, long time ago, but don't know about that now. So, and you could stand on the property and look back down at the river. And um, you used to could see it, so. But it's too much stuff grown up. And I'm not going to try it. <laughs> so I see a few guava trees. And if you want to know what guava looks like. This green fruit here. That you can make things out of. And 
tree there looks like some really big guava on it. So, make my way back to where my wife is. She's helping them make some type of Philippine dessert. And she asked me if I wanted to help. I'm like, no, you're good at it. There's some more lava right there. So in the past, used to be lots of workers working in here because this is a tough place for one person to manage. So I'm sure they'll get back into it. But lots of space to do all kind of things. I like to do something like this too. Which uh, told my son-in-law, I just seen some neat birds here. So sometimes it catch, distracts me with the birds because I look at all the animals. Things you don't see, like, well, I'm living in Germany. So it's a lot of chickens. <clears throat> they all running toward me. Nope, I don't have anything to eat, fellas. Nothing. So you want to know where all the food comes from? Here. Well, there's a gate down there that I totally missed. So, the sheep went out some way. So see, me, the dumbass human, jumping the fence. And they probably wonder why is he doing that? So we heading back. See if I can get through this gate here from this side. Let me take a look. Yep. Success. Now I'm having a little issue trying to lock it back. Got it, but it caught me too. So that's a brief stroll around the farm. So we go back and see what the sisters are doing. They're all preparing food. Which in the Philippines is a nice thing. Whenever somebody come to visit, Everybody starts preparing food, and the food's pretty good. So normally there's some baby, well let's see if there's baby chicks over here. Normally there are. It's a little dark here, you can't see. No, or, nope, nope, no babies that I can see. Nothing really much in the cages. Not seen at all. So, make my way back. The rain has stopped.
Well, that's a big fruit on that tree. Don't know what it is. Oh, it's coconut. I was thinking of those big lemon-like fruit, but it's coconut. I think it's called a, I don't know, pomelo or something. It's like a cross between a grapefruit and something else. But it's pretty good. And there is the favorite mode of transportation here around Camino Tuan, Santa Rosa. There's a papaya, a papaya tree. Growing nice. And over here is a vegetable garden and one over there on side of the rest house. With some more things growing. Don't ask me what they are. Same way over here, but it looks like some of it's okra. Some beans. So we'll take a cruise through where the noise is. There's a cat, found him a nice place in the cooler. So here we are. And here we have the chief cook. <laughs> she should open her own restaurant. <laughs> so like I said, with the chicken, we go back here to check out the man. Got a fire going. And he's doing chicken, as we call Manok. Hello, man. <laughs> he's cleaning them all up. Don't get no fresher than that. See, one, two, three, four, five chickens. Thank you. Don't want to disturb him. And here, they use everything, even their guts and all. Clean them, fry them. It's like chitlins. So, let's look at the garden. It's starting to rain again. So I made it back just in time. And no, I'm not an expert on these plants to say what they are. I did say look like okra. It looks like it, but I don't know. So, that's a quick shot. And when the rain stops, we'll try to do a drone flight. So, that was that.